going on, little wieners? It is Burn 2K over you guys in other commentary and gameplay in a while. Like usual, I died for about a week, and then uh, now here I am making another video. I don't know actually how long it was since the last video. I know it was Titanfall, blah blah blah. I was talking, talking shit in that game. What the hell was I talking about? I don't even remember. I don't remember what I do. I don't remember what, type, what kind of videos I, I do or record or commentate on. Anyways, I'm bringing you guys some BF4 PC on Ultra. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been playing this on Ultra anyways. I'm just very late to the party because, like I said, a thousand times I got a new GPU. So, this 970 has been working wonders. Except on Advanced Warfare. I think I said it before, but Advanced Warfare has been a little bitch. It likes to stutter a lot. I think it's Shadow Play. I think it is Shadow Play because when I use DX Tori. All those skipping and frame hitching that occurs in, the, in that game does not occur with uh, DX Tori. I'm not sure if I do want to use DX Tori though because god, the file sizes are fucking huge. And with Shadow Play, the file sizes are a lot smaller and the video actually looks crisper. I think it's probably because I'm, I'm recording natively and on DX Tori I'm recording at 720p. <sighs> I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I gotta consider. Do I use DX Tori or do I use Shadow Play? I'm just gonna stick with Shadow Play with anything else that's not Advanced Warfare. And for Advanced Warfare, I'm just gonna stick with DX Tori. But, anyways, this video is not about Advanced Warfare or DX Tori or any of that shit. It is about a game that just came out today or yesterday, depending on which, uh, when, are you, when you're watching this video. I'm pretty sure you're watching this video on the 30th of January. I'm pretty sure that that's when it's gonna be published, but. I'm, I'm saying today because right when I'm doing this video is the 29th. <clears throat> so when I woke up, I was watching YouTube on my phone, just, I don't know, like usual. And then I heard my Wii U gamepad just, bloop, bloop, like, turn on. It, because it, it does that when there's, a, like, a, a new notification. Like, let's like say, when you're running a, a sale on the eShop, it'll run a notification on your, your gamepad. And you can press the home button, and it'll actually turn on the gamepad just for... Just for a little bit, only the gamepad, just to tell you, like, hey, there's something new going on, go check it out, and whatever. So I did, and it says that, it said that the Metroid Prime Trilogy that came out on the Wii <coughs> was on sale for ten fucking dollars. Dude, I hopped off my fucking bed and grabbed my credit card as quickly as possible. Well, not my credit card, I got a debit card, I'm not about credit yet. I don't want to deal with credit now. I'm only 21. I don't want to be in debt. I'm already in debt. I got college shit to pay for. Anyways, I got my debit card. I put in my information so goddamn quick and I pressed buy because that is a goddamn steal. When you look at the prices of the Metro Prime Trilogy Collector's Edition, I think it only came out Collector's Edition. I'm not sure. But when you check out the prices of that game on eBay, it runs, it still runs at like $50, probably more. Some people are spent, are, are uh, putting it for like $300, $200 on eBay. Like what the fuck guys? And Nintendo is, is slapping them across the face by releasing it for $10. Three really fucking good games that came out on, the first two came out on GameCube and the third one, Corruption, came out on Wii. For only ten dollars, ten fucking dollars. Granted, it's on the Wii, so you're not gonna get those silky smooth. Well, it's 60 FPS all three games, but it's not gonna be a 1080p. Apparently, it's upscaled, but I tested it out. It doesn't look that upscaled to me. I don't fucking know. Maybe my TV is shit, but it doesn't look that upscaled. But anyways, three good-looking games for only ten dollars, and then it's only for this week. It's only for a week. And it's going to go up to $20. So if you like Metroid, if you like third-person shooter adventure games, not fucking Call of Duty and shit. Adventure games. Third-person adventure... Not third-person. First-person adventure games. Then this is a steal. These games are hundreds and hundreds of hours each alone. I've played the second and the third one. The second one took me longer to beat than the third one. I don't know why. I guess I was just used to the whole... I wasn't used to the whole Metroid formula. And, and I think... Metroid Prime 2 was a reason that my GameCube messed up because I was playing it so much. But anyways, go get Metroid Prime Trilogy 
right now if you like the metroid games i'm telling you it is a steal and uh i guess that's it for today that's all i had to talk about i really got to come up with talking topics soon but anyways that's the video for you guys see ya